Hey, good morning everybody. I'm Scott Dunn. Thank you for joining me today. And if you are watching this, thank you. And if you are a subscriber, double thank you. Uh, today I'm at a undisclosed location wanting to do something today that I've been sort of uh, really dreaming about for a very long, long time. Coming up here on the Northern California coast and do a little real kayak fishing. A uh, very unexplored section of the coast here and um, I'm going out with a fishing guide. I uh, really feel fortunate to go with a fellow by the name of Dennis Spike. Uh, he's been doing fishing kayaking now for probably close to 30 years. I would call him one of the sports pioneers. Uh, if, if I do get a chance I'd like to sort of say thank you Dennis for uh, taking me on this guided trip and certainly if anyone's interested in doing this on your own he has a website kayakfishing.com so again Scott Dunn here uh, up on Northern California coast getting ready to get my gear together get in the water and fish for four or five hours um, but certainly today and what my experience is with fishing and kayaking and kayak fishing everything has sort of led up to this moment specifically uh, it all comes down to this moment I've been thinking about this for a while finally getting getting a chance to do it uh, have all the gear feel practiced with my gear it's certainly something that is a practiced art the art of kayak fishing I definitely have to say it's very gear intensive I mentioned that before in one of my previous videos and I'm pretty much self-sufficient certainly everything has led up to this moment thank you for joining me today I really hope that I can get some good footage and some vantage uh, points shots of fishing so thanks for joining me today Tommy it's oh yeah man a double nice job those are beautiful 
cool. Nice work. He's an inspiration. <laughs> I'm ready. Cut a, a nice black. I'm gonna let him go though. Oh, I don't know. Get it off the bottom. It's off the. It's off the bottom. This might be a ling cod. It's it swims up and then swims down. You see him already? No. Don't let his head break the surface. Okay. Uh oh, double something. Oh, okay, a little link cut on the bottom. <laughs> he looks like a shorty. Is he 22 <laughs> inches? No, he's short. What's that bottom one? Uh, that, Let's see it. Pull that, it out of the water. That's short, but it's cute. It is cute. You're close. <laughs> You're damn close, Scott Dunn. I'm in the right spot. It's a good omen. I'm just... Even though he's a short little chub, he's a fatty. He is a fat guy. It dropped 80 right here, Yep. Oh. oh yeah. Here we go. Nice job, dude. Thanks, man. He's nice and smooth. Smile for the camera. <laughs> oh, you got the camera going? <laughs> I'm rolling. Excellent. First thing with Spike. See you later, Spike. I'm going Cheers. Back. Professional release. <laughs> uh, really? He'll go, don't worry. A little sloppy. Yeah, okay. Extensive photo shoot. <laughs> Takes a little longer to get the breath. <laughs> it's Kodak moment. Oh, whoa. Yeah, baby. Unbelievable. Check it out. What you got? I have no idea. Copper, maybe? Put it on board. <laughs> Thank you.
check it out. Hey everybody, Scott Dunn here. Just getting off the water, driving south on Highway 1. And I came around the corner after my long day of fishing and uh, I'm exhausted by the way. It's amazing, amazing experience with Dennis Spike and his uh, other uh, tour guide, Tommy. I got, a, I got both of the uh, guys trying to show me the ropes. Uh, Tommy ended up catching two gigantic lingcod. I've never seen a fish that big. It was just amazing. Didn't take any pictures of it though, so sorry for that. I caught a, a few rock cod. Rock cod is a type of fish, rock fish. A couple different types. Um, the ones I caught were black, just the color that is on their body. But I learned a lot. I really got a chance to do something that I've been really looking forward to doing for a long, long time. And I, I really hope that there's something uh, here that's worth showing all of you guys. And um, just on my drive home, I just came across this incredible vista. So let me share this with you. So the day isn't uh, a total bust. I mean, I did learn a lot. I didn't catch a giant fish though. That's what I wanted. But every fishing day is a different day. I'm going to try and not fall off here. Sort of an endless uh, coastline here. I'm on the edge here. It almost feels like the edge of the earth. I don't know if you guys can see that behind me, but it is a drop. I, I don't want maybe a thousand feet up. It's incredible. Those rocks are small, but from uh, from up here, well, they uh, from up here, yeah, they look small, but they're giant. So, just an incredible, incredible vantage point here from Highway One. Just overwhelmed with the beauty, honestly. I'm gonna extend my tripod here. See if I can get a little bit better view. Mr. Jiggly with the camera here. Oh, that's so much better. So, you know, I, I have a feeling. Let me put this on so I can think what I'm saying here. Can't even think when the sun is in my eyes. Amazing world that we live in. And I just feel so lucky that I was able to sort of immerse myself in everything that is kayak fishing it is just a incredible incredible sport didn't have any luck with the gopro just a little bit of footage with the gopro it is awfully hard to try and kayak and fish and mess around with a camera gopro namely while on a kayak it is damn near impossible honestly we had a whale come by I didn't think I was going to see a whale today, but we saw a whale. 
Uh, a lot of seagulls came and checked on us. Uh, I was trying to get rid of some of the squid bait that I was sort of cutting up and getting rid of the tentacle part. And I was making squid bait sort of into strips just out of the conical body, body part of the squid. Leaving behind the tentacles, I threw the tentacles over the side of my kayak and the seagulls just came from miles around. That was quite a sight to see. So I uh, got to see, like I said, Tommy catch two gigantic ling cod. One was called a blue ling. The other was just a normal brown ling, but definitely big. Uh, the blue ling, apparently, if you cut into it, the meat is blue. It has something to do with their diet, I think. Uh, if I am wrong, you know, please feel free to correct me. Uh, like I said, just doing something for the first time. Serious open ocean kayak fishing. Uh, my guy, Dennis Spike, really showed me a really special spot here on the coast. I hope to come back up here again and catch my giant lingcod. So thank you for watching. If you are watching this and if you're a subscriber, thank you, double thank you. And just uh, can't tell you how much I appreciate being alive. There's nothing finer. And certainly everything up until this point has led to this moment. And what did I catch for black rock cod? and something else called a green link. I had a, a wonderful time doing it. So thank you, Dennis. Thank you, Tommy. And for all my viewers, I really hope to do this again soon. Thank you for watching. Bye for now.